Paderborner Pilsner. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got one here today from a place called Paderborn, which is in northwest Germany, the Rhine-Westphalia region. And this is the Paderborn Pilsner. Now, this lot are owned by Warsteiner, but they never used to be. They've been going since 1852, or they have been going since 1852, and they got taken over in, I think it was 1990, but they've been brewing this stuff and a few others before that. They do an Alt beer, which again is a regional beer in that Rhine-Westphalia region. They do a Export, and they also do a Gold, or what is known as Paderborner Gold. Now the Export is said to be pretty crap by all accounts, but this stuff is not too bad apparently. So I've been told, I don't know, I will try it and let you know, but it's one that I've been wanting to try for a while but it's always been sold out. But the reason I want to try it is because uh, my missus used to live in Paderborn, and I'm not sure if you're aware, but Paderborn is a big military base. It was a big military base for the British Army of the Rhine back in the, uh, up until, well, up until the sort of mid 2000s when the British Army pulled out of Germany. But um, armoured units were based in the region of Paderborn and Senilaga, which are, you know very close together and a lot of british regiments were based there for a while my missus was there she worked in the hairdressers there believe it or not and um she lived i think she lived there for two years but she said she really liked germany especially that part said so clean people really nice you know nothing but good things to say about germany and uh, i said what did you think of the beer she said i never drank beer when i was out there and i was like what a waste what a fucking waste anyway relax um, yeah, as I say, this is one, I've not tried it before, it's from Warsteiner, they've taken it over, and uh, as far as I know, it's still produced in Paderborn, I don't think they've moved it to the Warsteiner brewery, I think they're just like partners and stuff, but they also do, you know, they do the, the ones I've mentioned, the Alt beer, the Gold and the Export, they also do mixed beer as well, you know, the, was it Radler they call it, I fucking don't get that at all. But, you know, that's just me. I, you know, I never like Shandy or any any beers like that. They're just too fucking sweet. You know, if you want a sweet drink, have a soft drink. Don't mix it with beer. There you go. Anyway, let's investigate this beer. Five hundred ml bottle. Four point. I think it's four point eight percent. And yeah, it's four point eight percent. And I couldn't find any brewing sheet at all on the website, it was just generic information saying they used the best malt, the best brewing water and the best hops, you know, fucking usual bog standard response. But it conforms to the Reinheitske bot, so there is gonna be no nasties in there, hopefully. Anyway, let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Doggy. Right, cap is just plain silver, nothing to see there. Now, if this is a North German Pilsner, I'm expecting it to be fairly, fairly bitter, a little bit of spice on the end, quite a dry finish. That is the trend in Northern Germany for the Pilsners. Completely different to the Czech Pilsners and also different from the southern German Pilsners, which tend to be a little bit sweeter. But let's see what we've got going on in here. Oh yeah, very herbal, 
lemon citrus, and a vague suggestion of sweet malt on there. Well, a combination of malt and the um, the yeast. Hmm, interesting. Oh, excuse me. I am absolutely knackered. We've gone down into a tier four lockdown in Kent and I was off work anyway, so I'm I'm off now till Christmas. Everything's been cancelled. We were supposed to be going around to see her mum, we were supposed to be going around to see her daughters and all that. That ain't gonna happen anymore. We're just gonna be stuck here within these four walls like fucking googie with us. And I'm sure there will be a fucking murder in this house. <laughs> the way things are going. There we are. In the glass. Quite a nice carbonation. One and a half finger white head. Golden straw colour. Slightly darker golden straw colour. Nice aromas. Let's see what it tastes like. Prost, as they say in Germany. Hmm. That's sweeter than I would have expected from a, oh, what's that on the finish? Wow. It's like, almost like a biscuit malt on the end. Interesting. The taste of this is not what I'd be expecting from a, a, a North German Pilsner. It's a lot sweeter than I expected, which is a twist. It does taste a little bit cheap, if truth be told. And it's reminding me of that, um, <clears throat> what was it called? Erting, the Ertinger. It's reminded me of that a little bit. It seems like a, like an, en not I wouldn't say an entry level beer, but it just tastes a bit generic, if the truth be told. Not much character, but drinkable nonetheless. I'd imagine that'd be pretty refreshing in the summer. It's the middle of winter now, so not really gonna see whether it is or not. But it's okay, I mean, it's got the basics. It's got the bread and a little bit of biscuit malt on the finish, because it's quite sweet and there's a little bit of hop character, herbal hop character, none of the bitter earth and spice that I'd be expecting. And all in all, it's just a, a pretty generic lager. Doesn't really, you know, have any nasties in there. There's nothing that's putting me off but I just think this is coming from that region Krombacher is a is a better beer than this in my my opinion the Warsteiner is a better beer than this no doubt this is lapped up by the people of Paderborn as I say the Germans are quite loyal to their local brewers so they probably drink that a lot around there the Paderborn Gold is supposed to be quite good. So maybe I should seek that out because as it stands now, this is, is just okay. The export is supposed to be very basic and entry level, which is sort of how I'd, I'd describe this, to be honest. It's not standing out, it's being amazing. It 
If I was going to drink this, it would need to be cheap, and it would need, be, need to be cheaper than Warsteiner, Kronbacher, any of them North German Pilsners, because to be honest, I've, I have tasted better. On the plus side, it isn't too bad. There's nothing nasty in there. If there was nothing else to drink, I'd be perfectly happy drinking that. If it was very cheap, this would be a, a fridge filler, but it would need to be cheaper than the Felton's stuff because, you know, this is this is one that is, is one of them things that's instantly forgettable, unfortunately. So what's the verdict on Paderborner Pilsner? Oh, it's very generic. For a German Pilsner, it, it really doesn't have much character, to be honest. It's got, you know, for a basic lager, a basic German lager, I'm talking about now, not a macro brewed lager, I'm talking about a, a basic German lager, which are, in my opinion, a step above the macro brewed shit that you get over here. Yeah, it's it's okay. For me to buy this again, it would have to be cheap. And as I say, it would have to be cheaper than Warsteiner. It would have to be cheaper than Kronbacher. Because, to be honest, it's really not worth going out your way for. But on the plus side, there is a drinkability to it. It hasn't really got any nasties in it. It's just one of them ones that is just very average, very forgettable. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And that's... That's pretty generous in my opinion, considering the region it comes from and how many good beers there are around there. You know, this is just pretty average. And as I say, you know, I said this in the last section, the the export is supposed to be, I wouldn't say even worse, but entry level beer, that's how it's sort of described. And I really should check out the, the Paderborn of Gold to see if it's any better than this. Apparently it is. Um, and they use it in the all the official functions of the area of Paderborn. So it must be reasonably decent. And it, it is pretty telling that they don't use this. So that must say something. So I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. If you can get this dirt cheap, then buy it. But if you can't, if it's the same price as a bottle of Kronbacher, which the last time I bought that, I think it was about £1.80 for a a 500 ml bottle, then if it, this has got to be cheaper than £1.80. If it's not, then don't bother, because it really isn't better. If you're looking on beers of Europe and that you know, you're looking to get five or ten of them, then do yourself a favour, go down to Morrison's, do Kronbacher and Varsteiner, whatever one you fancy. I prefer Kronbacher myself, but Varsteiner is perfectly acceptable. And yeah, get one of them. If this is about 150 or 140, then fucking fill your boots because yeah. It's just one of them. But there you go. And remember, beer is working class champagne.